Hey everybody, I want to take a few minutes today to introduce problem of the week number nine to you. Um, we're switching things up a little bit this week. Um, typically this would be a DAX problem that Haroon would be uh, leading as he's next up in the rotation. Um, but because of some scheduling constraints this month, he and I are flip-flopping. So we're going to be doing a power query problem in the beginning of the month, and then he's got a good DAX one for you coming up later in the month. And the second thing is that this one, unlike all the other ones we've done, this one is not a direct business application, but I think it has tremendous business applicability. Um, and you'll see it's actually based on the Academy Awards upcoming. And the reason I did that is because um, it gives us something to have pictures of um, for visualization purposes. I wanted folks to get experience with this query on timeline custom visual if you've not used this before um, for visualizing the the outcome of the of the problem. Um, it's something I think has really great flexibility and applicability to a wide variety of uh, scenarios where it presents a really good good visual display. Um, and also just wanted to change things up a little bit, keep this keep this interesting and so um, even though this is not a direct business application, I think you'll find that the techniques you have to employ have tremendous business applicability. Um, this could be applied to transactions, it could be applied to products, it could be applied to any any number of different events other than awards. But in this case, it's the Academy Awards coming up later this month. And so the, the context of this problem is in the history of movies, um, 14 women have won the Best Actress, um, also known as Best Actress in a Leading Role Award, at the Oscars more than once. And so what I've got is I've got a data set from Kaggle that covers the entire duration of the Academy Awards from the early 1930s to the present. And you've got to go through that data set, find the, um, the instances where um, somebody won a Best Actress Award uh, more than once, and then on the timeline, graph out the year they won their second award. Um, and I think there's some interesting wrinkles in this, both from a analytical standpoint that you'll need to employ to get to that that second award win, and also in the in the visualization of it. Um, so a couple of things. Um, what I've done here is um, there's a, a table here that we can take a look at called actresses. And what that does is that just has names and um, URLs for pictures. And that's for the visualization. You're not to use that, that table actually in your solution. Um, there's a CSV file that I'll provide, which is the Kaggle data set. And the second thing is, um, as I mentioned, I've got the, the query on timeline, um, custom visual loaded here. It's one that I like a lot. I've used in data challenge number seven. I've used it in the where in the world is enterprise DNA member map. Um, and I've got that loaded for you here so you don't have to worry about downloading it. Um, if you have any problem with that, kind of coming to the proper configuration of that visual, there's a blog entry. Um, on the Enterprise DNA blog that I'll put in the um, the initial intro post, as well as a YouTube video I did um, on the custom visual um, back around the time of challenge number seven. So um, you've got some background material for that one if you need it. Um, so I hope you find this an interesting and challenging problem. As always, it's open to both members and non-members and really encourage everybody, um, regardless of skill level, to give this one a go. I um, think that it's really going to give you some, some good experience, both in terms of some really generalizable power query skills, as well as some interesting visualization experience. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in a week with the solution. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us, and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. 
Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.